What's up Freedom Nation? It's John here and today I want to make a quick video about how hard is Kindle Publishing. I want to make this video because I know in 2017 Kindle Publishing there's going to be a lot of uh, spectators, people on the sidelines or on the fence trying to get into Kindle Publishing but they don't know um, the mechanics or whatever about it, right? And I was just at the gym. I just came home. I decided to set this up real quick and what I realized when I was done with my uh, high intensity interval cardio uh, was that a lot of people aren't going to see that hard work that you put in uh, to to your goal. So what I want to do here is address that um, kind of related to fitness in a way because my, my fitness goal is you know I have a deadline to hit a certain body fat percentage by uh, a certain time right and uh, same with Kindle you should have that same type of Kindle goal as well um, and then it got me thinking about uh, success in anything as an iceberg and let me explain a little bit. All right, kind of like the iceberg that you, you, uh, you guys probably know what an iceberg is. But like the one that sank Titanic, right? Or whatever. And this is what I'm going to call work. <laughs> That's the work that a lot of people aren't going to see when you're in your Kindle publishing business. Um, that's where I've been this whole uh, last month, really, just really buckling down. I was at uh, 3.5 in uh, this last December, and I'm going to surpass that um, this month. I'm going to surpass $4,000 this month um, with all th the three uh, Kindle publishing platforms, paperback, audio, you guys know the deal. Um, but especially for those people who start off with the course and who see these guys or girls, right, making 5K a month or making 10K a month, 15K a month, um, they you don't you only see that that's all you're seeing and I know this might be obvious to some of you but I know there's people who are gonna start and are going to expect the uh, that amount or they're gonna expect uh, maybe a smaller goal maybe they're gonna expect 3k per month after a month or two because they saw it on some uh, interview or they saw it on some uh, dashboard on a Facebook page right you know, so I, I know people like this that 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 all they see is this, and they expect this, and they they go on and follow all the steps, and maybe I'm not sure everyone's different, but they don't put the same magnitude or the same amount of work that's hidden beneath the scenes that you don't get to see. You don't get to see them struggling and really working on their craft. When it's when I say craft, I mean like uh, their search words. Um, the keywords they don't take their time to analyze each and every market some people take way more time to learn it but once you learn it it's it's like that but but even then you you have to do a lot of research and that's the most uh, heavy-duty part of Kindle publishing and that's what you don't see the other part you don't see which is just as important here's a tip uh, is uh, Kindle covers okay you, you're going to make have to make good Kindle covers because people buy their books judging on their cover whether you like it or not I've seen covers uh, just today and yesterday um, they have a good cover uh, their whole books in their niche right they have a good cover but their content is crap but guess what they still have a good Amazon bestseller ranking because they put in work when it comes to the cover okay now I'm not saying it's right or wrong maybe they should fix their cotton their content they should I agree with that but you don't see that work that takes hours and hours of work um, getting good at this takes hours and hours of work and how I related that to fitness was I was busting my ass in there in the uh, in the quiet room in the gym I just uh, just doing a lot of interval training just high speed everything and just we're you know really sweating and I, I figured hey I'm gonna have this summer body okay I'm gonna have the you know I'm gonna be ripped I'm gonna have a six-pack going on but no one's going to see this work I put put in you know working out five days a week six days a week my bad and only resting one day they don't see that they just think it's easy and uh, oh he has good genetics blah 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 right same thing with this people are just gonna say oh that person just got lucky you, you know he just picked and this might be there might be some magnitude of uh, truth to this that they got lucky with keywords okay fine sometimes you'll get lucky beginners will get lucky there's beginners luck but most of the time that beginners luck runs out and then you really have to buckle down and learn 
all these things like the Amazon algorithm, the keyword profitability, things like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Nobody's going to see your hard work in anything. And I'll call this the, uh, uh, the freedom iceberg, which I think you spell with an E, whatever. <laughs> um, this will be called the freedom iceberg. You can use that with any area of life. You can use it with fitness, whatever you want. Um, but that's what I wanted to tell you today, Freedom Nation. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. But before I do, I want to answer this. How hard is Kindle publishing? It's not that hard. Um, I wanted to find it in the way that Jim Ron did. And Jim Ron, motivational speaker, look him up. He said once that if it's something you can do, it's easy. But you'll work hard at it. Okay, so it is easy. You're going to work hard at this part. But once you get it, it's going to be second, you know, like, uh, like secondhand nature. You're going to know it like the back of your hand. Okay, so anyways, this is John from Freedom Nation from freedomboundbusiness.com. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, give it a like. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.